bare rooted it, it's really important to get it into a pot as soon as possible. It's imperative. Um, doesn't have any muck around the roots to keep it moist. I should just water it. It'll be good for a few minutes. It is dormant, um, so they will tolerate this kind of abuse this time of year. The trick is to do the right thing at the right time of year. If you do the right thing at the right time of year, you'll have no problems. If you do the right thing at the wrong time of year, say we did this in June when this was in full leaf, it would just die. Um, now there is some people, especially up in Louisiana, that collect in May and June. We've tried it here in Florida, we can't do it. It just doesn't seem to take. I put them in the mist and they do grow, but they just don't have the same vigor um, that these do. We put, a, we put these in the mist and they pop excellent. All the way up and down the trunk. Um, they, the, the growth hardens off really well. It just is a great way to collect cypresses. Uh, we have about 95% success doing it that way. Next thing I'm going to do is select a pot that it'll fit in. These are um, rather large pots, 20 to 35 gallons. We have root maker pots, although I don't usually put cypresses in root makers. I put them in, I put podocarpuses in there. Um, and a lot of other trees that I collect. A lot of the cypresses typically are put in uh, solid pots with a good mix. The mix that I put it in is what all of these trees are in. It's 70% um, pine bark, 20% sand, 10% peat. They also add miners and um, oh, we add organic fertilizer. Oh, look at that. Oh. That's good. Oops. I'm get my, where my loppers at? 